you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another country music reaction video. That's right, my good American friend Judd has given me another song to react to in his endless quest to make me cry to country music. It seems this man gets some sort of kick out of it. If you don't know who Judd is, he's a, he's a flipping huge Twitch streamer, absolute legend of a guy, really nice, and all these country music recommendations come from him. You'll see his channel lo channel logo and link popping up on the screen somewhere around here, and his link's in the description. Go, go give him a follow, go give him some love. These all come from him. Anyway, I think he wants to make me cry over this one. He said it was gonna be a hard one to get through, so I'm gonna stop talking. Subscribe to this channel if you're new, and let's jump into my first time ever reaction to John Michael Montgomery, Letters From Home. After a bad start, there was a picture of a um, of a baby on the wall, which which implies this could be about kids. Okay, that's not good. That's my kids here. My dear son, it's almost June. Oh, no. I hope this letter catches up with you and finds you well. It's been dry, but they're calling for rain, and everything's the same old same. Johnsonville Your stubborn old daddy ain't said too much Judd, you son of a bitch. Stop. I, right. I don't want any more. I don't want any more songs about kids. I don't want any more songs about fatherhood. I can't do this. As a father of two, these are too brutal for me, man. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. It's not fair. John Michael Montgomery has an absolutely like awesome country voice by the way this if you think about like your stereotypical country singer that's exactly what his voice sounds like but i'm sure you know he sends his love with like that deeper tone and that like accent twang on every single note like that proper old school country voice and she goes on in a letter from home I hold it up and show my buddies like we ain't scared and our boots ain't muddy and they all laugh like there's something funny about the way I talk when I say mama sends her best y'all I fold it up and put it in my shirt pick up my gun and get back to work and it keeps me driving on This must be the most terrifying thing ever as a parent Like, horribly terrifying The idea of your child going off to war I cannot imagine a worse thing Like, literally cannot imagine a worse thing I can imagine, like, especially with, like, maybe more in the USA With, with sort of how it's like, it, you know, there's more pride around it and everything like that there's definitely, you, like, this one of the things I really, like, love when it comes to America is how much pride you have for your country and, 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 and like, serving your country and that sort of stuff. It's, it's very beautiful. But for me, I'm selfish. I, 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 I'm, I will happily admit it, I'm selfish. And I, I, I would do everything in my power to, to not have that happen. As much as I'd be proud of my sons for wanting to do that, I just would never want to see them walk out that door, not knowing that they may never walk back in it. Waiting on letters from home my dearest love it's almost dawn i've been lying here all night long wondering where you might be i saw your mama and i showed her the ring man on a television said something so i couldn't sleep but I'll be all right, I'm just missing you And this is me kissing you X's and O's In a letter from home This is a really beautiful and, and sweet song. It's really nice. I so hope it doesn't have one of those awful damn country music twists. I feel it coming, man. Especially with the way it keeps cutting to John Michael Montgomery and he's just sitting there with like complete stone faced. For once, I would just like a like like a country song to have a happy ending. Ah, oh, I really like his voice. It's a proper classic country singer's voice. It really is as well. Like really classic. Really like his voice. Proper old school country tones on this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautifully well done music video as well. 
I hold it up and show my buddies like we ain't scared of our but the same buddy and they all laugh cause she calls me honey but they take it hard cause I don't read the good part I fold it up and put it in my shirt pick up my gun and get back to work and it keeps me driving on the storytelling in country music is is so i know there's a, it's funny because country music really does have like a bad rap where you get a lot of people like oh I, I don't like country music i won't listen to country music i've always tried to make this channel as inclusive as possible when it comes to music and i've always tried to be as open-minded as possible when it comes to any genre or country when it comes to music i've always it's something i've always tried to stand by and i really feel like um i feel like i'm doing that right genuine reactions to everything all over the world it's something i really want to achieve I really want to do and I hopefully people think of think of that when they think of my channel um, and country music really does just tell such an incredible story and it's such a shame that it doesn't get the love it deserves from the rest of the world because the storytelling in country music is unparamounted is is really really unique and incredibly well done <laughs> Dear son, I know I ain't written I'm sitting here tonight alone In the kitchen, it occurs to me I might not have said it, so I'll say it now Son, you make me proud I hold it up and show my buddies like we ain't scared and our boots ain't muddy but no one laughs cause there ain't nothing funny when a soldier cries and I just wipe my eyes I fold it up and put it in my shirt because... <sighs> I'ma hold it together with this one This is really sweet. This is a really good video, a really good song, and another really good story from a country music artist. I really like this one. Get my gun and get back to work. And it keeps me driving on. Waiting on. Letters from home <sighs> Nice Nice, 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 nice Country music seems to have this Almost, it almost gets a kick out of kicking you right in the balls. <laughs> it really does as well. It's, it's, it's horrible sometimes. They love, they love going straight for the jugular when it comes to emotions. There's like no holds barred cage match. That's what it feels like. They really do just want to beat you down emotionally. So you always get the saddest, most brutal, like just heartbreaking endings. And it's nice that this one wasn't that. That this was... This was just showing us what it's like. You know, it was almost like a, a peek behind the curtain. It's something that I can't imagine many of us can even think or comprehend what it's like to be in a war zone, to be a soldier, to be in another country, to be away from home for such a long period of time, to, you know, have this bond and this relationship with these guys you didn't know before, didn't even know existed, and to have each other's lives in each other's hands and and to be missing home, but also wanting to do your duty. Like, the amount of conflicting emotions a soldier must go through is something I hope I never experience. The, I mean, the only way I ever would now at, this, at my age is if, um, if something bad happened. Um, <clears throat> and, I, and, and selfishly, I hope my sons never get to experience as well. Um, I want them to just live boring, safe lives. But damn, I can imagine... I can imagine it must be very prideful 
you know, of, of, of your children when they do something like this, of a parent when they do something like this. Because when my granddad used to tell me stories, um, my granddad wasn't in any any of the big wars, I don't think, but after um, after World War Two, my granddad went over to Germany um, and was stationed out in Germany as part of, like, I don't know the word for it, almost like a policing unit. Um, and they were just mainly patrol uh, German cities. And he said it was mainly about interacting as a British soldier. It was about interacting with the community out there. Uh, make, it being like basically like guards, you know, like like police. That's what he used to talk about. Um, and he was telling stories about like hanging out in bars with Germans and, and that sort of stuff after the war. Um, like not straight after. Um, yeah, I remember him saying like that telling me stories about that and you do feel this sort of pride you know and even then i felt it um yeah he went on to be a uh, prison like he worked in prisons here in the uk um he's still around he's a really good guy um he's funny every time i see my granddad he always tells me because my family's crazy and my granddad's like one of the only normal people and he'll he'll always be like you need to just stay away from your family <laughs> absolutely not just keep doing what you're doing he's a really good guy but yeah, that level of pride I feel when he tells me those stories, uh, I can't imagine feeling that on like a more enhanced level. But I do have a lot of respect for anyone who can selflessly pretty much give up their life and their path and find this new reason to protect others and people that you'll never meet and people that will never care. It is truly selfless and it is incredible. This is a really good song. John Michael Montgomery, Letters From Home really good song really good storytelling beautiful country voice very very classic country voice like his style like his tone anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did press that like button and subscribe join the family here thank you very much for watching and as always my friends we'll see you in the next video